Hey everybody, happy Sabbath. This is my thought for today on uh, this wonderfully grey Sabbath here in the Netherlands. Um, I have been thinking about how much life words have. And as you know, I'm a parent, so we tell our little storms um, that when they speak, they must speak words of life. That you be careful what you say because it has power, it has meaning. And sometimes when we say things, we might not mean them. You know, mummy is so mean. But it has a, re a long-term repercussion. And what I've been finding recently Recently is that I've been reflecting on my own life and my own experiences and there are a couple of things that stick out to me and there are two incidents I particularly remember. One was with a, one of my best friends at the time, we were out, this was long before I was a pastor, we were out somewhere, we were there for a drink and I looked across and I said something awful about another woman. And at the time I was like, why did I say that? Where did that even come from? Where was that festering inside of me? Because I'm not that kind of person. I wouldn't think of myself that way. So I was horrified at myself, but I didn't really say anything. I just fumbled through and, and moved on. And it has haunted me that, that, that I had succumbed to the power of words that others had used to describe women, that I had bowed to that peer pressure and, and had subjected another woman to something that I would hate to be subjected to, and that ob objectification. And so I felt mortified. The second time I remember that words had power was regarding a really good friend of mine who everybody, when we were teenagers, thought we were dating and we weren't. And he was a wonderful guy, but we were just not dating. And um, people were getting on my nerves with this all the time. And you guys would make a really cute couple, mainly because we were the same complexion in a church full of black people. So they were like, yeah, I'll just put the two, <laughs> the two black people together. That will work for us. Um, and I, I got so annoyed at this group of guys who were harassing me that I said, no, I would never date him. And there he was like, standing behind me and I hadn't realized and the venom that had come out of me wasn't about him it was about those people who were harassing me and so I'm left with the conclusion that this wonderfully grey sabbath day our words have power we're about to go into a week of prayer in my de denomination and we're we're going to be praying the week through and it makes me really question how we use our words. We should be using our words to give life. The, we should be using our words as an encouragement. We should be using our words in a positive way that reflects the way Jesus used his words. Instead, we can often be found bowing to peer pressure. We can be found uh, bullying, manipulating, lying. Words are important. There is life given through the tongue and there is also death. So be careful what you say and have a wonderful day. Bye.